But this person couldn't wait to get up here. Maybe it's because she's too polite. Maybe it's because she's from Canada, because those people are like that, right? Can we give her a lot of love? A lot of laughter? Give it up to Lauren! It's here for Lauren! Howdy, y'all. How's it going, eh? So, originally, I am from Canada. Yeah. As a matter of fact, just the other day, the Canadian government phoned me to inform me that my oldest son's father is not dead. Oh my God, I'm thinking, so who did I stab? So, I don't know if you realize, but a lot of Canadians are alcoholics. Yeah. yeah. I think it's because we can't get help. Hello? Operator? Can I get the number to AAA? Instead of getting me a sponsor, they send me a tow truck. So my son comes down the other day and he announces that his pants have shrunk. I said, no, honey, you've grown at least an inch. About 45 minutes later, I, he hollers down from the bathroom, oh my gosh, mom, it grew more than an inch. <laughs> I think we need to have the talk. Oh, I hate all those car stickers <laughs> nowadays that tell you everything about the driver. You know, my kid's an honor student, or I do Pilates. Why don't they tell me something we need to know about them while in traffic? Like, I never use my rear view mirrors, <laughs> or I really drive slow in the fast lane, yeah. or my Xanax is kicking in. <laughs> I was sitting at a red light this morning and I lift up my phone for two seconds to see who just tried to phone me and this bitch in the car next to me starts screaming at me. You're breaking the hands-free law and you're a danger to everyone. Blah, blah, blah. As when the light turned red, I could have sworn, or green, I swear. <laughs> That's right, we were trying to go. <laughs> I swear she was gonna flip me off, but it was kinda hard to tell cause she had a Starbucks cup in one hand and a Big Mac in the other. <laughs> so the problem, the problem with cars these days is that they are so high tech. I've had my van for two years already and I still don't know what all the buttons do. Does anybody know what all those flashing red lights on the dash are for? <laughs> and what does that little red genie lamp mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's funny how your fantasies change as you get older. When I was 21, I fantasized I'd be driving a Porsche 911 and, uh, and driving, uh, driving a Porsche 911 and married to a rock star. <laughs> 20 years and four kids later, my fantasy is a 2014 minivan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My children pick up their underwear off the dining room table and a man who will lift the toilet seat. That last one still gets me hot. I went out one night, and to the bar one night, 
and this pretty young girl hit on me. Yeah. I just looked at her in the nicest way possible. I said, oh, honey, you must be a carpet lover, but I lay hardwoods. My whole life I've been friends with, my whole life I've grown up with and been friends with guys. I was getting ready to go out the other night and I had just bought my first pair of thongs and tried them on. And without even thinking, I texted my buddy, I think I put these on wrong. He said, send me a picture and I'll let you know. <laughs> I did. <laughs> now we're married. Come on, we need to kiss up to the Canadians. They're our only friends.